I am uh, Lisa Lunny Borden and I'm a professor at St. Francis Xavier University in Antigonish, Nova Scotia. I have been involved with the Show Me Your Math event since 2006, since its inception. Back at the time that it began, I was a doctoral student at the University of New Brunswick working with Dr. Dave Wagner. Dave had an NSERC crystal grant to do ethnomathematics in communities. Ethnomathematics looks at the intersection of culture and mathematics. So Dave had a grant to do ethnomathematics in communities. I was coming from a Mi'kmaq community looking at um, how could we better support Mi'kmaq kids in learning mathematics? How could we help them to make connections between culture and mathematics? And so it just kind of was fate, I guess, that we came together to work together. Uh, we began by interviewing elders in the communities and we were learning all kinds of neat things about how they measured and how they um, used mathematics in their everyday lives. A lot of the time they would tell us it wasn't math, it was just common sense. Um, but it was really interesting to us and we were learning a lot, but at the same time we were thinking it's too bad that we're the only ones hearing it. We're we're getting the elders telling us about mathematics and then we felt kind of like we would then what tell the kids about mathematics and so we were having a conversation about that one day and decided we should really get the kids to talk to the elders they should be asking these questions they should be the researchers and uh, through our conversation we decided well we should have an event where the kids go out and do mathematics research in the communities, find out the mathematics that community elders are using in the crafts that they make or in the, their daily activities or people who work in the community, what kinds of mathematics do they use in their jobs. And um, from that, we got this idea for show me your math. The kids could go out and show us the math that they found in their own communities. So at the time, there was a tradition um, with the Atlantic Canada First Nation Help Desk and they would often have monthly help desk contests where the kids would um, do projects. It might be a language project or an art project or whatever, and they would post them on the help desk site. So I shared this with Dave, having been involved as a teacher for many years and doing help desk contests, and he thought that was a great idea. So we put together a plan for a help desk contest where we would have kids go out interview elders, look around their community, find mathematics in unusual places, and tell us about the mathematics that they found. We called a meeting. Um, we invited a lot of teachers. There were probably about 20 teachers there. That first meeting, I remember, it was in the basement of the uh, Wamaka Cultural Center. And uh, we shared our idea, and we wanted to get feedback from the teachers about how we could make it better, how we could make it you know, richer for the communities, how we could help teachers to do the math projects in their classrooms and everyone was really enthusiastic but I can still remember seeing Noelle Johnson out of the corner of my eye and saying um, that's great I really like this idea but I've always wanted to have a math fair and we should make this a math fair and we'll bring the kids together and we'll have all kinds of projects and you know, she ran with the idea she'd also been responsible for the inception of the science fair so um, it wasn't that uh, much of a stretch for her so we decided that we would have a math fair. We created a video prompt to announce the contest to the kids. And that first year, I think we had three or four schools that came to the Wamaka Cultural Center in May to show us their math. And um, they brought all kinds of neat projects. And since that time, we have had probably about a thousand projects presented at the Show Me Your Math Fairs and probably 5,000 projects done over the last five years um, by kids in MK schools. Uh, in many schools, they have virtually 100% participation, Escazoni. For example, every child in Escazoni, which is the largest school in the MK system, does a project. Uh, it's been an amazing success. We. Um, we often hear from teachers things like, you know, we were doing this show me your math project and then it was, I was teaching this other topic later and, and all of a sudden I was like, this is just like what we did in show me your math. And so there's lots of connections being made and kids are making um, lots of really, uh, you know, it's, I guess it's a way, I remember one year there was a girl the first year who, who um, did a project on the connection between the Fibonacci numbers and the dream catcher. And she said, you know, this really showed me that my elders knew mathematics too. And that was really important to her because before that she hadn't had a lot of 
um, confidence in her math and, and that, that project really helped her develop confidence in her mathematics and there's been lots of neat projects since then. One in particular that I remember is a project that was done by a group of grade 10s in Wegoma and uh, they were looking at the efficiency rate of um, packaging and they had to figure out what was the most economical container there with the ratio of uh, uh, surface area to volume and uh, they were amazed because when the elders came in that were basket makers they already knew the answer and they were like, well, it's that one. And the kids said, well, we had to do all this math to figure it out because there's this chapter where they do all this math to figure it out. And, uh, but the elders already knew because it was something that was valuable using the least amount of resources to create the maximum amount of capacity. And so there's been lots of really neat connections between the mathematics that kids are learning in the schools and uh, the math that they're doing in their Show Me Your Math projects. And so far it's been a great success and we hope that it will continue for a really long time into the future because we've had a lot of kids show us their math and it's really helped them to be better mathematicians.